Are you tired of managing raw SQL queries in your Node.js app? Want a simpler, cleaner way to interact with your database without losing control or flexibility? In this video, I'll show you how to set up SQLize in a Node.js Express project so you can start building robust and scalable APIs with confidence and ease. SQLize is a powerful ORM, object relational mapper, for Node.js that makes it easier to work with relational databases like MySQL, PostgreSQL, SQLite, and MSSQL. Instead of writing raw SQL, you define models in JavaScript and use intuitive methods to query and manipulate your data. It supports migrations, validations, associations, and more, making it a great tool for managing your database layer in a structured and scalable way. To save us some time, I scaffolded a Node.js project. It has a basic setup with TypeScript, ESLint, Prettier, and Jest. It uses .env CLI to load env variables in development and TSC Watch to automatically restart the app on save changes. To make debugging easier, I enabled TypeScript source maps in development. If you would like to follow along, please check out the description for the link to the starter template code and the project files. Let's go ahead and install Express Library. We will install Express, Morgan, and Core's NPM packages. Morgan is a middleware that logs HTTP requests. Curs library will enable cross-origin request sharing for our API. We will also install types for Express, Morgan and Chores as dev dependencies. Let's create a file called server.ts in the src folder of the project. In this file, we will import Express, request and response from Express library. Morgan from Morgan and Cores from Cores. Next, we are going to define an export create server function. In this function, we will create an Express app. We will disable X powered by response headers and add Morgan middleware. The Express URL encoded middleware allows Express to parse URL encoded form data. JSON middleware enables Express to parse JSON request body. Finally, we will add Core's middleware. Let's create a simple get test health test route. We can do it by calling get method on the Express app. Parameters to this method are the route itself and a callback function that handles the request. This callback function accepts request and response parameters. We are going to use response parameter to send OK true response in JSON format. Finally, we will return Express app from the create server function. In index.ts file, let's import create server function. We will instantiate a server by calling that function. Then we will call listen method on the server passing to it the port and a callback function that logs out API is running message if the server starts up successfully. It's time to test our work. We will be using REST client extension of Visual Studio Code. Please be sure you have it installed if you are working in Visual Studio Code. If you are using a different code editor, you can use any other available REST API client, like Postman. Let's create API test.http file in the root of the project. In this file, we will create a GET request to the health endpoint on localhost 3000. Be sure to put three hashtags on the line above. This will allow send request option to show right above the request. Now we can start the development server with npm run dev command. The dev script is using .tn package to load environment variables from the NEF file in development. We will create that file and the database connection variables in a little bit. TSC watch watches the files, rebuilds the project and restarts the server when the changes are made. Let's make a request to the health endpoint. We receive the response OK true in JSON format. The express server is working. Great. Now we can install SQLize. But before we do that, if you are enjoying this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. When developing locally, I don't use SQLite database, as some of the tutorials suggest. I use the same database locally that is used in production to avoid any issues. Most of the time I use MySQL or Postgres relational databases for my project. For this project, we will set up MySQL database for local development. The easiest way to do it is to use Docker. Please install Docker Desktop on your local machine if you don't have it installed. In the root of the project, let's create docker compose.yaml file. In this file, we will set up a database service. We will use MySQL 8.0 image. Set a super strong secret password and create a SQLize API database. MySQL server listens on port 3306. We will bind this port to 33061 port on the local machine. I have another MySQL database listening on port 3306 on my local machine, that is why I use port 33061. If you don't have anything running on your local machine on port 3306, 
you can put 3306 instead of 33061. Finally, we define DB data volume to persist the data. To start up the database, run Docker Compose up dash D, dash D stands for detach mode. On the first run, it may take a while for the database service to start up, since Docker needs to pull the MySQL 8.0 Docker image from the internet. After all set and done, you can go to Docker desktop to make sure the database container is running. If you want to stop the container, you can simply run docker compose down command. The docker compose will remove the database container. Since we define the volume, the data saved in the database will be preserved even though the container will be removed. We will need the database running for the SQLize, so let's spin up the database container back with the command docker compose up dash D. SQLize in its current version 6 still has some parts of TypeScript as work in progress. So, we will be using SQLize TypeScript library as suggested in the documentation. Let's install the following dependencies with npm, muscle2, SQLize, reflect metadata, and SQLize TypeScript. We will also need to install a dev dependency called a types validator. To use SQLize TypeScript, we will have to enable experimental decorators and emit decorator metadata in compiler options of TS config file. When I work with SQLize, I like to put SQLize connection and models inside a repository. Let's create base repository.ts file in src data repository folder. In this file, we are going to import SQLize from SQLize TypeScript library and config from the config file. We don't have the config file yet. We will define it in a little bit. Let's export default base repository class. In this class, we will define SQLize client public class field of type SQLize. In the constructor, we will assign this field a new SQLize instance with database connection properties of host, port, database name, username, and password. We will also specify dialect as MySQL so SQLize knows we are using MySQL database. Now let's create index.ts file inside data repository folder. In this file, we will import base repository, create a repository instance, and export it. Next, let's create .env file and add environment variables. We will define the port our application is running on as 3000 as well as database connection variables. Finally, let's define database connection configuration. In the src folder, create config.ts file. In this file, we will define and export database configuration options that we will get from the environment variables. The config file is not only useful for keeping all the configuration variables in one place, but also for typecasting them and assigning default values. Now we can test the database connection. In index.ts file of the src folder, we will import repository. Inside the server listen callback function, we will call authenticate method on the repository SQLize client. If everything goes well, we will log out successfully connected to the database message. If things go sideways, we will catch an error and log it out. We are good to go. Let's start the dev server with the command npm run dev. Also, please be sure your Docker Compose is running as well. After TSC Watch compiles the files, we can see that the database connection was successful and that the API is running on port 3000. This is great. The advantage of SQLize is that it maps database tables into JavaScript objects or models. All the SQLize setup that we did is kind of useless without database tables and SQLize models. So, please check out this video next to learn how to set up API routes in Express and define SQLize models.